guess who I am, like, I just, I just honestly try to let go. I try to live in the moment and just feel as free as I, I can. And <laughs> to me, that freedom and free-spirited side of me is when I'm the most happy. And when I'm the most happy, I feel like anything's sort of possible. So just a girl doing what I love and running around the world. And it's, yeah, it blows my mind that I get to do it, but I'm in love with every minute of it. Riding home on the end of the eight, yeah. Towards my funeral, you don't know I'll be late still. Couldn't be less sober if I try. You know I try, oh Lord. I grew up in North Narrabeen on Sydney's northern beaches and uh, I, my family's always been like a lifestyle has revolved around the ocean really. And my dad's always surfed and yeah I remember him pushing us into, pushing me and my brother into waves when I was like really little. We'd go up the coast and um, just camp on the beach and that was our holidays and it was just so simple. And then I actually like became a gymnast for about like eight years. That, that consumed my whole sort of childhood. I think when I was about nine, like eight years old, I was doing gym and then just my dad started taking me out surfing a bit more and I like just became hooked. I've been travelling pretty much non-stop since I've been 12 years old and um, I love it. I love seeing the world and, and going different places and yeah, it's something that I value and something that has taught me so much about life and I guess it's just so humbling, it puts everything in perspective and just makes us know how lucky we are and it's pretty awesome. The ocean is the most humbling place on earth. Like you can never, ever get too confident out there because playing with Mother Nature and yeah, you always just kind of have to bow down to her, I guess, and just brings you back to earth and just in that present moment. And it's it's really hard to explain, but I mean, that that in itself is just such an amazing, you know, amazing place in my life that I just I'm so thankful to have found. The best thing that I ever did was travel alone and just figure things out for myself and I guess the day that you stop relying on anyone else you like really just take the world by I guess by your, your own hands and I guess that's the moment you start living and, and really learning and you make mistakes but yeah it's all about just I guess trusting your own gut and trusting your instincts and, and just doing what you really think is right because no one knows yourself better than, than you and you just have to believe that and know that and just be confident that, that you can take on the world and everyone's powerful enough to do it themselves. <laughs> I think for me to like always keep the fun there because I guess with the competing and stuff like it, it did get to a point for me where it, it lost its true meaning and like I went on like a bit of a journey to just find that and keep that. There was a few years where I just I didn't really go on surf trips and I like I had all this adrenaline like I just wanted to do stuff so I'd always go skydiving and do all this all this stuff that I'd get sort of an adrenaline fix and I was like why don't I just go surf some bigger waves so at the end of um yeah the end of last year I just made it a, like a priority to be like you know just find some swells and just go and I've done that a few times this year and it's just been like, I've been so thankful for it it's just something that's another little addition to my life and my surfing that 
has um, has definitely changed it and made me think about it a bit different as well. But there's no better feeling than pushing yourself over the ledge of a, a wave and not knowing what's going to happen. And I guess I'm really putting like a lot on the line. But I don't know. Just when you come out of one of those waves that you never thought you'd come out of, it's just sort of an indescribable feeling. And like I honestly think the feeling of coming out of the biggest barrel of your life is better than for me, it was better than winning an event. It doesn't get old at all. The best times that I've ever had still are just surfing with my friends and just surfing with like people I love around me and just laughing and sharing waves and to me that's just like ideal perfection and um, just really appreciate and soak in just the simplicity of why I love to do this sport. And it always just, it's just a reminder and just to keep that fun and that child, childish, um, like the way you felt it felt about it as a child right there, like right next to you the whole time is to me one of the most important things. So I always try to do that and just being in the ocean and simply riding waves, like I always want to make sure that's sort of a number one priority because without that you don't really have anything else. Like I couldn't imagine what my life would be like if I wasn't surfing around the ocean every day and there's always going to be the fear of the unknown but I'm just, yeah, I'm really excited for everything knowing that surfing is my life, my passion, and I get to do that. Tangled in the air.